So welcome to the hotel that we are going to be staying in for the next three days and it's going to be here, the Grand Hotel Sopotel. You said nice one of the best hotels in Sopotel. Ah, oh, sorry, in, in Sopot. So and let me neighbor. rectify. It's the best hotel and it's one of the best of the country, maybe the best. Oh really? Oh yeah. It's one of the best in the country. Yeah, so we are here at Sofitel Grand Sopot. Oh, why is it closed? Because we need to enter here, of course. Jean Dobri. I'm sure that the pronunciation must sound horrible. It's the Polish way of saying hello or good morning. Welcome to my channel Shalini in France. So this is my travel video dedicated to my stay here in Poland. I'm not going to be able to give a lot of travel tips. I'm just going to let you know of how I feel about Poland in my visit over here. We spent three days in a beautiful seaside city called Sopot at the very north of Poland. If you look at the map of Poland, Poland is surrounded by seven countries on three sides. So it's landlocked in three directions and it's only in the north that you find the Baltic Sea. So we decided to spend three days over here. I must say, my son and I, we had a really great time with the seagulls, as you can see. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> we were looking to have a quiet holiday, so we booked a few days in this hotel. This particular hotel is an iconic structure on the beaches of Sopot, and it's the Grand Hotel Sofitel. So. Are you ready to check out the room, Pierre? Oh. We already know that it's going to be a nice room. Yeah, of course it's nice. All right, so, and we have our suitcase already. This is the room. Wow. Yeah, that's a large bed. It's a, we have the window, we have the TV, we have a writing corner over here, and wow, I haven't seen the bathroom. It looks really nice and big. Yay! This is their Hall of Fame where they have all of their photographs of the famous people who've been here. So I'm going to quickly show you because the room is dark. We have Fidel Castro, Nicolas Sarkozy, mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not so sure about these names, Charles de Gaulle, people over here, Annie Lennox and Shakira, Lisa Kudrow was here, Bob Sinclair. The breakfast at the hotel was a very elegant affair. I saw a lot of food that I'm usually not used to seeing in the regular breakfast spreads. Mm. So this is herring. So all the fish selection over here. So I have this lovely plate in front of me. So this is uh, an uh, apple croissant. This is blue cheese with apricot. This is a kind of horseradish. This is mozzarella. This is salmon. Uh, this is some kind of uh, vegetable salad. Some baby corn, radish, and over here are some sorted vegetables. I have grapefruit juice. I'm going to have this breakfast while looking outside. My son's selection from the breakfast really had me giggling. He's so cute. <laughs> You're going to have sausages and you've got so many chausson oh. So after that heavy breakfast, we are on our way to go to the pier. It's not very far from the hotel, just like five minutes walk. And oh, we are so lucky because the day is so beautiful. I can't uh, even wear my shirt, so I hope people will not make fun of my shirt because I love it. Mm, I think uh, you have been mistaken to be a Polish not or Polish. even a Russian. A Caribbean guy. I was interested to know how some Polish names they sound like, and there are some examples over here. Anita, so that's a common name. Andrzej, Angelika, Basia, Bartosz, that's the name of my nephew. Bartek. 
<laughs> oh, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Oh, that's nice. Uh, bottle opener. That's good. Here's the pier right in front of us. Okay. So everybody's go going. 500 meters. 500 meters. Okay. All right. So half a kilometer of walk in front of us into the Baltic oh, Sea. Giant. This was the only restaurant that we found on the Sopot Pier and we did have dinner here once. I must say that I was so impressed with the food. It was absolutely wonderful at not very expensive prices either. This amazing guy, what a great musician he is. A lot of people were actually stopping by to give him money and we saw him before and after our dinner. Wow, he has so much tenacity to stay for so long drumming. The big and famous city of Gdansk is only a 15 minute train ride away from Sopot, so we decided to spend the day in Gdansk. This is where we get off. Going to the city. So we've already reached Gdansk and we have just started medieval road. So it's the most interesting road in Gdansk that we are just starting right now. Um, yeah, and it's, a, it's going to be a very relaxed day for us just walking around this town. This is my favorite shop in Gdansk. First I took uh, egg, an egg, a sugary egg, second a pumpkin, pumpkin. Third, spider for the bowl, no, no, for for we share, fourth, a starfish. This city Gdansk is famous for historical reasons but don't be fooled because I discovered that there is one hidden secret in Gdansk that uh, one doesn't really find very easily on the internet is that there are plenty of amber shops. Oh that butterfly is so nice. This whole street that I'm walking into is filled with uh, amber shops and all of the designs are very pretty. Oh, so pretty and I'm so tempted to buy them so it's very tempting to stop by all these boutiques and have a look and the prices can be between 50 and 120 euros I'm inside and one of the amber shops and this is a shop that has been certified for the quality of amber that they have and I have got myself very cute earrings. So this is a hedgehog with an amber fitted inside it. I'm the proud owner of an amber pair of earrings. It's fossilized uh, resin. I'm so happy. Yeah, and they can do discount. And they can do discount. So I'm 260 Zloty, it came down to 200 and I think that she looked a little bit like guilty so maybe you can find it for cheaper. Oh. This was the only one that I've seen with a hedgehog. Mm. I can testify that she has looked many, many, many shops. A quick lunch with the well-known Polish delicacy called pierogi or raviolis stuffed with meat. I find it amazing that the accompaniment is usually something sweet like this red sauce. I've spoken so much about amber, but do you even know what is amber? Is it a precious stone? No, it's not a precious stone. Even though you see it fitted in jewelry, but don't be fooled into thinking that amber is a precious or a semi-precious stone. Believe it or not, amber is nothing but fossilized resin. What does this even mean? It means that millions of years ago, trees have been secreting a special liquidy substance and this substance over time has hardened to become amber. We entered into a famous museum of amber in Gdansk and this is definitely a museum I recommend for you to go and visit. 
It's a wonderful museum where you can even see insects that were trapped in amber millions of years ago. This is our last activity for the day, looking at the amber museum. It's uh, definitely a very educational experience. It's definitely worth a visit here. Towards the end of the day, after all of our day's activities, we discovered the games room in the hotel. And I was happy to see that my son, he really took to playing a pool with a great fondness. So I'm going to use the swimming pool at the hotel. So here I am in the water, but the swimming pool, the depth is very less. It's only five feet. But I'm just going to enjoy myself in the water. Hello. And, and the wood. I don't know what wood is this, but it smells very nice. And I've got some water. So once it gets really hot... You're like a good cook. Oh, let me go. Yeah, see you in the hammam. We were very lucky to actually have a tour of the room where the French president Charles de Gaulle, he had lived in. De Gaulle, in September 1967, the French president Charles de Gaulle stayed in this room. We've been very lucky because one of the employees of the hotel, he has let us into the Charles de Gaulle room. This room was serving the French president uh, during his stay over here, but right now it's not used as a guest room anymore. It's used for the employees actually. So the employees, they can come here and they can have their party as we can see. Uh, yeah, so it's mostly for the employees now. They come over here and they have their Halloween party. They, they have their get togethers. The room of the president was actually three interconnected rooms and you're going to have a look now at the terrace. The terrace is immense, it's huge, it's uh, definitely the biggest terrace in the hotel and what a wonderful view. So I can just imagine the president, he really got a very presidential reception in this hotel. Always, all times of the day, I have noticed there's a lot of people who stop by here and take photographs of the hotel because obviously the hotel is an iconic structure. One of the notable things to do in Sopot is to get onto the pirate boat and go for a half an hour ride into the sea. Of course, it depends on how long you want to go for the boat ride. It can definitely be longer or shorter than the uh, half an hour, depends on how much you're willing to pay. So that was one of the fun events that we did. So now we can see that we've been on the Baltic Sea. Maybe we haven't gone swimming in the water, but we've been on a boat. This is also the end of my video. I really hope that you enjoyed my visit to Poland and maybe you can think of making a visit here as well. I loved the country and this is definitely a place that I would come back to again. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!